For the look of the vibe, nigga, I gotta be safe. Let's get to sports talk. <sighs> go with Lamar Jackson. The reason I go with Deshaun is multiple. One is, as great as Lamar was in college and he won a Heisman, Deshaun didn't, I think Deshaun was better. I think Deshaun, he should have won a Heisman, didn't win it, but his level of success at Clemson and what he did in those national championship games, to me, it was criminal. He was not in discussion for the number one overall pick of his draft, and I still have tweets up there. I won't erase them, even though as much as I love Patrick Mahomes now, furious that my hometown Kansas City Chiefs traded up for a quarterback, and it wasn't Deshaun Watson. It was this kid from Texas Tech. The hell's he going to do? And so Deshaun coming out of school to me was the more sure thing. This is why Lamar's having a year he had. You still ain't believing him? How much do he got to show y'all that he is a franchise quarterback? Look at the position he got Baltimore back in. That's why they made that move to get Lamar. That's why they made that move to make him the starter and let Flacco go to Denver because they know what they have in Lamar. You mad about the Kansas City Chiefs taking Patrick Mahomes. Look what happened. MVP. Got the team almost to a Super Bowl. He can still get them there as their quarterback. That's why Kansas City moved up and got Patrick Mahomes. They seen some in him, especially Andy Reid. Seen like that's the quarterback I want. That's the arm I want. Texas. They know Deshaun Washington is dynamic. That's why they went to go get him. What is it going to take you to believe in Lamar Jackson? He's showing you this year that he could play quarterback for them and he got them in a good position. Look, you, could, you need to take that tweet down. Patrick Mahomes already shows you that he's Kansas City franchise quarterback. He already got an MVP under his belt. And as we sit here today, while he might not be as likely to have the 158.3 passer rating A triple plus game, week in, week out, you're, he is an A minus student at worst. And I still think there is some un, unfinished gym quality to Lamar, where while the highs are incredibly high, his lows to me are still a little lower than Deshaun's. And for both of these teams, that believe they can win a title this year. Baltimore obviously should, and Houston, you don't trade two for, over the course of the season, they've traded two first round picks, a second, and two thirds to put players on this year's roster. You don't do that if you don't think you can win a title this year. So I, I believe in Deshaun just a little bit more, and to me, he's just a little bit more consistent. So I'll go with Deshaun. Either option, though, is a great one. You're right. Either option is a great is a great problem to have. I think if you're talking about this year in particular, I'm going Lamar Jackson. I'm still thinking that defenses haven't figured out who has the football, which way they're going, where's the room, what's going to happen with Lamar Jackson. I, I thought against the Patriots they would find a way to hit Lamar. And be I was just about to bring that up. Patriots want to be the so-called best defense this year. He went in there and dominate that defense. They ain't know what hit them. He had them stun all night in that game. Came out of the gate fast and finished the game and won it. The Patriots got one of the brilliant man, defensive minded coaches and Belichick. And Belichick come and figure out Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson had them confused on that Sunday night game. Everyone thought the Patriots was going to stop him. No. He proved him wrong again. He's going to do it again. Able to just be 
beat him up just a bit. They couldn't touch him. They couldn't find a way to get around him enough. And so if you're talking about this year, I'm certainly going to go Lamar Jackson. Long term, I think Deshaun, ja- J- Deshaun Watson continues to get better every single year. He looks better every single game. He's a guy that when you talk about you need to throw the football, he gets that done. If you need to scramble, he gets that done. He's a great leader. I mean, it's kind of similar to Lamar, but I think you're right. He has much more of an upside than Lamar Jackson as far as you're talking about the long term of his career. So that's why, uh, you know, if you're talking long term, I go Deshaun. Short term, Lamar Jackson has just been too special this season. I don't think we give enough credit to Lamar Jackson, the youth, which he's, you know, he's only 22 years old. He's still very young when you look at his development as a quarterback. And he's not being asked to do some of the things that Deshaun Watson is. Because, and I think this is a credit to the Raven staff. Last year, they were all in running the football. They, they re- really limited his exposure in the pass game. This year, started sprinkling a little bit more, trusting him a little bit more. I think you're going to see that development continue and the trust with the coaching staff, Greg Roman, the offensive coordinator, start to dial up more pass plays. What you alluded to is why I think Lamar Jackson is the choice in this discussion when you have everything schemed up and you have the quote perfect defense and you have everybody accounted for the one thing you cannot account for is Lamar Jackson and I think you can somewhat Deshaun Watts is an incredible athlete he can run too but Lamar Jackson has generational type speed agility quickness moves any term you want to use it's generational and you cannot defend that but Lamar Jackson has had to do it with the comforts, if you will, of a, a better offensive line, of a better better, run, better yeah. run game, better defense. He's had better components a around way him, better, better head coach. A yes, better yes. Head coach. <laughs> Deshaun Watson has had to do this with a shoddy line, running for his life, injured a lot of the way, and tough pieces around him. Could you point to that as well, being a big advantage for Deshaun Watson? Well, the for Lamar Jackson, a big advantage for Lamar that he has all those things around Correct. him. The, Look at Deshaun Watson is a playmaker for Texas. Bill O'Brien ain't doing enough good job with him. He making Bill O'Brien look good in Texas. Because his playmaking ability shows up. Because he don't have a good line still. It just, he's so good at playing quarterback that he get the job done for Texas. And, um, he was still ain't believing no more. You ought to have somebody think he should be a wide receiver. He proved that person wrong, and he backtracked his question and said, I, I'll take back what I said. He's showing y'all. I could play quarterback in this league, and he's showing y'all this year. Yeah, I, listen, Deshaun's got one thing that Lamar doesn't. And that is from a team perspective. That is DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins is a superstar, and Hollywood Brown might one day develop into a great number one receiver. Right now, he's a super fast rookie, and Lamar's Lamar's doing the tight ends and doesn't have that type of weaponry. But everything else around him is setting him up for this success. Now, he has to take advantage of it. By the way, those things were around Joe Flacco. And Joe Flacco was terrible for a half decade. So it's not that it's just plug and play. Anyone can do it. But I do think that Deshaun's degree of difficulty is higher. And I think that Deshaun has been the reason, the single reason with the Houston Texans, they've been relevant the last few years. They were, they, they looked great his rookie year in the small window that he played in before he popped his knee. Last year, he kept them afloat despite the league's worst offensive line, got them in the playoffs. And this year, even when you look at the games they've lost, there were, he did everything you can do to win the game against New Orleans, the opening night of the season, and then it's, the, the win is squandered. Carolina, he, the Carolina game was a rougher game for him, his roughest game of the season, but but you saw him even in Kansas City late in the game figure out a way to pull them ahead. Like he has been so special without some of the advantages that Lamar has. If, if he wasn't the quarterback for them, you would have gave away Flacco. You would have kept Ryan with Flacco. It shows in practice what he was doing. And it shows on the field why did they went to him. Baltimore was a team that couldn't figure out anything after that Super Bowl win they had with Flacco. Ain't doing a lead to them being out of the playoffs, back in the playoffs, lost in the first round. And then they got Lamar Jackson, even though they lost in the first round with him. But it was just his rookie year. But he shows I could get a team to the playoffs 
and help this team win in it. People ain't believing in him, and he just showing every week that y'all are wrong. That to me also does spell to his favor, if that's what you're saying. When you talk about Lamar, he's always always the best athlete on the field. You, know, you can tell Deshaun is the best athlete, but he's much more of, I'm going to get the ball out of my hands. I want to throw the ball down the field. One of the things I love about Deshaun Watson is that he has the ability to run, but he decides, listen, I want to get the ball out. I want to throw it. I'm going to scramble. I'm going to throw the ball down the field. I think that's something that Lamar will continue to gradually continue to be in the future. But now, when you watch Lamar Jackson... It's like, whoa, everybody stop. Everybody pay attention to this one guy. He's that special in the football. This is the future of the NFL. These two players, this is what the quarterback position is going to look like 10, 20 years down the road. And credit to the Ravens and the Texans to some extent for actually not being afraid of it and saying, you know what, we've got a guy who can run. We're going to utilize his running capabilities, and we're still going to pass the football and do it incredibly successfully. Right now this year. This is what the game came to. You have to have a quarterback that's the least mobile. Only certain teams have a quarterback that could be in a pocket. But the way the game is turning around is for the mobile quarterbacks now. And that's what everybody's looking for. Everybody's looking for Patrick Mahomes, a Lamar Jackson, a Deshaun Watson. They're looking for a quarterback with a strong arm, and that's, that's uh, Patrick. A playmaking ability in Deshaun Watson. Same thing with Lamar Jackson. Playmaking ability. That's what the game is coming to. A mobile quarterback. There's only some teams that still got their pocket passes that's still successful. But this is what the game is turning into. As we head into week 11, the five best quarterbacks in the league so far statistically have been, and we can argue about the order, Russell Wilson. Deshaun Watson, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, and Dak Prescott. Mm -hmm. Dak Prescott's the worst athlete of the five, which speaks to your point. That is a a a. And I forgot about Russell. It's the same thing. Everyone looking for a short quarterback. Why do you think Arizona went to go get Calamari? They think he could be the next Russell. That's what I think they. That's what I think they uh, that he could be. And I feel like Kyler Murray going to have a successful NFL career. The game is changing for mobile, short quarterbacks now. Everything is changing now in this football era. A type of quarterback that was not always given a chance. And when they were given a chance, they were saying, well, you can't do the, some of the things that make you special. You've got to, what, what happened to Vince Young, you know what I mean? You've right. got to play this style and style in the pocket. that made you great. These, obviously, you still have to be able to win from the pocket. All five of those guys have shown they absolutely can, but they're also allowed and empowered to do the things that make them special. So that we are seeing it is a revolution that we are in the midst of, and it's th this game this weekend is it's going to be on full prime display. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.